the real NV87, the blind NV87, the NV87 who doesn't care what the screen looks like. Mm. Good morning. Wish me luck on a lot of levels. It's Monday morning. Number one, it's Monday morning in the six o'clock hour. I don't really need to be up until eight. Being awake and up and about and like pulling together sound files to edit and canceling a DVR recording because I don't want to record it now that I know that there's been some scheduling uh, circumstances has forced preemption, etc is not what I should be running around doing right now. I should be in the bed asleep. I'm gonna try to go to bed. I wonder if sleep will come back to me. If it doesn't, I hope I'm able to get through the work day. What happens is I feel like I can handle it. I go in and by the end of the shift, I'm either feeling really tired or I haven't made it through. And I hope you know what I mean by haven't made it through. I touched on it a little bit earlier. I don't want to talk about it at great lengths. I don't know if or how much I believe in talking about something, bringing it on. I mean, for example, I'll go back to one of those cartoon shows that my little 40-year-old, 4-year-old is into. Never mind which one. But this woman and her talking pet are walking through the, whatever they're walking through, an outdoor type of place. And she, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the most beautiful day ever, but she's like, well, we got to do this. He wasn't necessarily complaining about the weather, but she wasn't necessarily enjoying herself out there either. Um, but she's like, well, it's okay, we got to just push through, we gotta get through this. I mean, at least it's not raining, and then it starts raining. <laughs> He's like, you did it! And she's like, oh, please. My saying rain did not make it rain. <laughs> and I hope that my saying this happening will not make this happen, but in case there is anything to that, I don't want to bring it on, and I, you know, I don't want to talk about it anyway, but the point is... <sighs> The point is, I'm going to lie back down again and hope that sleep comes to me. But in the next three hours, I'm literally, hopefully, going to get some more sleep. But that email is going to come in. I'm expecting that email to come in. What time exactly it's going to come in, I'm not sure. But it's going to come in. Especially when, by the time it's 9 o'clock my time and my ride's showing up, it's 11 o'clock their time. They will have announced it by then. This email is going to come in. And I'm going to read it and find out if I won this thing or if I didn't. And then at 9 o'clock, my ride's going to show up and I'm going to have to leave for work. I wish tomorrow at 9 o'clock my ride would show up so I could leave for work, but there's no ride to come at 9, so I had to deal with door-to-door transit, which means when it's 6 o'clock, 6.30 tomorrow, I really will need to be, like, getting up and going because I have a freaking 7.30 to 8 o'clock window to be picked up. Ugh. That's another story for another vlog. I don't know if I'm going to vlog that or not, but it won't be on this video. This video is all about the raffle that closed early, and did I win it or didn't I? And I don't know yet, so while I wait to find out, I really do need to try to get some more sleep. Okay, I was able to get some sleep. I'm not sure how much, but I don't think I can take any more time to get any more. I actually literally have, what, 45 minutes before my ride shows up, maybe even less. I got text messages while I was trying to go back to sleep from my preferred cab company. I wish door-to-door transit would contract with this one instead of the one they insist on contracting with, but... This is probably my preferred ride service explaining why I got those text messages. Hold on. I can't read what I want to read yet. Hello? Hi. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I, I got some random text. I figured something had to have happened. Willie, because I got a message from them saying... Okay. Okay, so you canceled the one coming home, but they still have to pick me up going in. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I'm not ready for that yet. Stop! Okay. <laughs> oh, this is getting crazy. But it'll all be worth it if I find out that this worked the way I wanted it to. And actually, I it might have worked the way I wanted it to because I was going through trying to see if I had gotten the email yet and... Oh, the guy who runs the company who was running the raffle sent me this random question email out of the blue. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to read that yet. Let me just find out <laughs> if this happened the way I was hoping it would. And uh, if it did, that explains what this random question is. It probably has something to do with this computer I might have won. If it's not, then I don't know what he's questioning, but I will find out. Either way, I will read that question email, but first... VoiceOver is not going to be reading out loud. I have earphones in, so you're not going to actually hear the contents of the email. You'll just hear my reaction to it, but... All right, VoiceOver, read me this email. Did I win this thing? Or not? Oh. Okay. Well, I wonder what his question was then. Let me go on and read that just so that I can... <laughs> What's your random question? <laughs> he didn't even tell me. He just says, call me. <sighs> I want to take that minute now, but can I? Uh, I need to, like, be halfway ready to go when I can't take this time right now. But, uh, according to this email, things did not happen the way I hoped they would. But what is this random question from the same guy that ran that raffle then? <laughs> um, I read it, and he didn't tell me what he was questioning. He just says, give me a call when you can. Well, yeah, I'm like... Okay, dude. <laughs> I'll call you. <laughs> but I mean, it's not about a pending order because I don't have any yet. I wonder what he randomly wants to know. I'll find out. I just need to do something to get ready to go to work before I do. I. It would be so easy for me to just make that phone call. Wait, I put one out. What am I doing? It would be so easy for me to just put that phone call in and take the time to find out what he wants and take care of whatever it is that he wants to take care of and then have my ride show up which is still going to be a cab let me uh, let me you you don't know much of what happened because time. i didn't put anything Set. on speaker Set. i didn't time. do anything out loud hold on a minute power level high one minute 30 seconds microwave running you don't know anything that happened in the past few minutes. The first thing that happened was my preferred ride service called and said, let me explain why you got those text messages and what's happened since and what exactly is going on. We've had a couple of drivers call in sick. We had to rearrange your drivers. The morning we just couldn't get covered, so we had to send it over to the cab company that we contract with, and yeah, we like them too. Fortunately for you, we work with them. That's how you're going to work today. Your other driver, I guess originally had called in sick too, but we had someone else become available and we canceled your cab coming home. That person who is probably more familiar with your workplace than the random cab driver is going to come and pick you up. 
Okay, I feel a little bit better about that. That being the case, though, what is this random question from this guy? I'll call him in a second. I guess I'm just waiting for us to hit the 8.30 mark before I call because I want... Until we get there, I want to be like doing something that equals getting even a half a baby step closer to being ready for work because 8.30 is a half an hour away from 9 o'clock. And one unfortunate thing about these cabs is sometimes they come a little bit earlier than you would expect them to. And whenever they show up, I want to be ready to leave. So I might even wait outside for him, even though I trust them a little bit more than I trust the other guys. I wish these random holidays would show up on calendars, like, on more than just A-L-E-X-A's, who doesn't necessarily tell me about them <laughs> with any kind of... Alexa just told me what time it was and then said, Happy Pastry Day. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Didn't know it was, but thanks. I <laughs> don't know how you celebrate Pastry Day, but I guess you could go to Starbucks and get a donut or something, but... Of course, there also might be National Donut Day, which if there is, I don't know when that is either. I don't know where any, I don't know when any of this stuff is. How do you find out in advance <laughs> so you know about these things? They never show up in the calendar. <laughs> you know, I mean, the Apple calendar doesn't show up. Okay, I think I can make this call real quick and then finish getting ready for work. I've at least started the process of getting ready for work, and I think I can spare like five minutes. Even the cheapest right now on Walmart.com or Target.com or Best Buy.com, um, even if I could get a better deal on that, it wouldn't be a better deal because, as far as I'm concerned, whatever the difference is between that and what you're offering is worth it so that I can get, you know, some optimum, blind-friendly customization. Exactly. <laughs> And being blind yourself, you kind of understand how important that is, which is why. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll probably, I, Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.42 a.m. Oh, I've got a ride coming in like 15 minutes to take me to work. I'm going to have to end this conversation, but I'm pretty, it, I'm probably going to, whether, whether I do it through layaway or through an outright payment, I'll probably end up taking you up on that. That's. That's the second best thing to winning it. <laughs> Plus, it'll save me like three, four hundred dollars in trying to say, you know, I mean, if I, I probably would have, eventually I would have called you and said, okay, I know I didn't win it, but I still need a computer. Um, I guess I'll order this one or that one or, you know, whatever you put up on the site. And then I would have to pay you another, I would, I would have to pay you 800 or 750 or something. 400 is the best deal I'm going to get from you, you know, next to just winning a thing, which did not happen, obviously, so. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Thanks, you too. Bye. <sighs> Thank you, dude, for thinking of me. That's, like, the absolute best news would have been that I won the thing. Obviously, I didn't get that news, but what you just told me makes it better. <sighs> Congratulations to the person that won it for whatever that's worth. I have a lot to explain, but the vlog is the farthest thing from my mind right now. The lowest priority right now. I have to get ready for work. I seriously have literally 10, 15 minutes. I'll see you in a second. Through the magic of editing, it's literally going to be a second. And I will explain what just happened. <laughs> I'll take care of this as soon as I find it where I... And then eat and try to explain this throughout. Okay. So I opened the email, I read it, it said, Congratulations, not Anv87. <laughs> you won this thing. But then, God, this ice is. <laughs> but then.
then I got an, another email from this guy who owns the company and ran the raffle, and this thing is upside down. Saying, could you call me when you get a second? I'm like, okay. You got a random question? Okay. <laughs> um, I called. I said, what's up? He said, well, I don't know if you saw my email. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't win. I'm like, yeah, I, I saw that. I'm glad that somebody did, though. And he's like, well, it really is unfortunate that you didn't win because that somebody called me and said, well, I actually just got a new one. I didn't really need it. And I was like, oh, well. <laughs> I guess the lesson to be learned there by that person is if you want to help but you don't really need what they're raffling off, don't enter the raffle. Just put $25 in as a straight donation. Let someone who really needs it potentially win. But, whatever. He's like, so, when she didn't want it, before I put it back on the website to let somebody else buy it, I know how much you wanted one, so I thought I'd reach out and... Since you didn't win, I can't just give it to you for free, but I thought I'd see if the deal I'm willing to offer it to you for is something that would interest you. I'm like, run it past me. I probably will accept it just because I really need one, and I can't... You guys don't understand. I have money saved up, but if I spend all of it on a new computer, what am I going to spend on this vacation that means everything to me next summer? Or this summer. Summer of 2020. You guys just don't know. The person that I'm hoping will make it to this convention, this is not just another American Council of the Blind convention. My best friend in the whole world and I have been talking about meeting at one of these conventions and actually spending time together for years. And inevitably, something always happens to one of us. We don't make it. It doesn't happen. So, we have not literally spent time together, like physically been in the same room for like over a decade. Now I love this guy like a father. And the physical closeness that comes from being in the same room, wrapping our arms around each other, these lips on that cheek, those lips on this cheek, you know, it's, you can't duplicate that over the phone. It just can't happen. We talk all the time, but we need some time like to really be together. And I'm so determined to make that happen that if I have to go to the convention and then go to where he lives around Labor Day because he couldn't make it to the convention, I'll do it. That's how determined I am to see him. So that can't happen for free, though. So how exactly am I supposed to go on vacation when I spend every spend when I spend every cent I have? in savings on this computer because I didn't win the raffle, dang it. Well, he said, you don't have to spend all of it. And that, what he's offering, first of all, is better than, okay, I know that on Black Friday, or even now maybe, you can go to Walmart or Best Buy or Target. And you can probably find a laptop for less than what he's asking me to pay for this. But, I don't know if I'm going to edit this vlog together and let you hear any of the phone conversation that I just had. But, as far as I'm concerned, whatever I have to pay to have this customized to be optimally usable by a blind person is worth it. I mean, Best Buy and Walmart and Target are going to sell you the same model of computer that is stock Windows 10. There's been no tweaking. I don't know how he tweaks it to make it work a little bit more like Windows 7, which is what I'm used to. But you know that the manufacturer did not do that on Best Buy or Walmart or Target's computer. You know that Target or Best Buy or Walmart is not going to sell you a computer 
that has a program on it that reads the screen out loud or if they do it's not going to be one that I've ever used. Narrator. I know that exists but I've never used it. Not sure what else he would do to customize his computer and make it most usable by a person who knows their way to, who knows their way around computers but cannot see the screen. But to me, that's worth two or three hundred bucks. Or whatever the difference is between the cheapest one of these computers that you can get right before Christmas from Walmart or Target. And what he's asking me to pay. So, he said to think about it, he said he's going to give me time to, you know, think about it and get back to him, because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't say I'll take it, here's a credit card or debit card, well, first of all, I would have to check it out of my savings account, and that is not what that money was intended for, but I have to have something other than this to To do everything I'm going to be doing in 2020 as far as being on the internet and stuff. And I'm never going to find a computer as nice as this one that works as well as this one for as cheap as this one with the optimization and customization that this one is going to have. Hello? Alright, I'll be right there. Bye. My ride's here. <sighs> it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take... I can probably have this taken care of by the end of the week. But... I'm probably going to take this deal and get this computer. Do I wish I wouldn't want it? Yes. But, I, especially when this person didn't really even want it. <laughs> if you wanted to help but didn't need what you won, why did you get the raffle ticket? You know, he had a couple of options. You could just straight donate or you could enter the raffle. Why did you enter the raffle if you didn't need what you and if you entered the raffle and then bought yourself a new computer, why'd you buy yourself a new computer? <laughs> uh, whatever, lady. I, I'll get good use out of the one you don't need. I wish it would have been free, but I'm still grateful that it's available to me for way less than what it would have been available to me for if I would have, because what would have happened would have been my father and heart probably would have said we'll find a way to get together we will find a way, whatever it takes but honey you need this computer and 
you know, you got to do what you got to do to get it. And at some point, I would have called this guy back and said, okay, I'm going to have to order one of these things from the website because I didn't win this. And I really am going to need a Windows 10 machine. Okay, I've got freaking notifications coming in left and freaking right. And I really can't keep this up. Um, but I would have called him and I would have said, I want to get it from you. And I didn't win it, so I'm going to have to spend everything in my savings to get it. I would have had to pay full price for the freaking computer. But in this case, essentially I'm coming out of it with paying half price, which is still a great deal, all things considered. So I wish I would have won, but you know what? I still have a lot to be thankful for. I'm going to end up paying for this thing at half price and... Yeah, that's, that's where we are. That's why I really do need to be thankful, even though things didn't happen the way I was hoping they would. It's the next best thing. And now I really do have to either close out this vlog or at least stop it. I've got to finish getting ready and get outside. Please follow me on Twitter, or if you must, on Facebook. Check out the description below for services and petitions that I believe in. And I'll see you in the next video when you hear what I have to say.